Whiteman Airport right outside of Los Angeles and we're going to talk to Greg at RF Films about how they use the radio frequency technology in motion pictures. Greg's actually worked on some of the biggest films in Hollywood. He's just finished up with Black Panther and will be working on the upcoming Top Gun with Tom Cruise. Here we are in my little shop. Uh, it's pretty open for everybody that comes in here. I have a lot of different guys that come in. Um, we keep the helicopter next door. Um, Fred North has his ship over here. Craig has his ship because we use a lot of the helicopters. Everybody brings, if they want to rig on it, we either go over there or we can tug it in here and uh, <clears throat> start working on build the cameras. But our, as far as our shop, we have a little tiny prototype mill. And this is really basically to make a quick little part or um, drill an accurate hole in something. I usually stand here, this is kind of like my little, my little solder station, so if I'm uh, building, we do build a lot of little breadboards. And this is a little power supply that's going in a jet. And I modified this, and I just did a quick machine, so I machined in the, the um, I'm taking the existing supply and just machined in our housings. Uh, a jack of all trades, master of none. Um, it's funny because, uh, you know, I started working for uh, a helicopter company in Michigan. I started flying helicopters because I loved it. And then transitioned over to like very interested in the camera technology. And one thing led to another. Ended up getting my first job. My first job for ESPN was a camera operator for um, offshore boat racing. So at that point, you had to have the camera over your shoulder and a, they called it a Tyler mount. There was no stabilized gimbals at that point. There, you were the I, I, yeah, I was the stabilizer, <laughs> yeah, the and uh, so like r ripping around in a helicopter around the country at these unbelievable offshore boat races was a blast. The next step was that um, <laughs> you had to send that signal from the, uh, from the ship to the ground so they could get it into the truck to cut it with the rest of the cameras for their, for their show. Well, I got involved with that. It became, became my job that I had had all it rigged. I just learned it really by doing it. Do you think there was a turning point where you got into sort of the problem solving game or it's always been part of the process and part of the business? Well, yeah, I think um, but my first l little job with these little transmitters we had built and basically the transmitters I used were, were really to control your sprinkler. <laughs> So I modified the crap out of them and uh, made them so that they would work and, and send video and all this other stuff. And my buddy, I got introduced from another friend to a guy that built antennas. So he would build these antennas, send them to me, I'd test them and say, man, that works great. Or no, that didn't work so well. And then he'd build another one and send it to me. Just an antenna master, you know? I mean, I, I went to the first time I went to his house and went up to his lab and I'm like, I'm looking at nothing but a wall of calculus. I'm like, this guy is brilliant. Yeah. He's deep. I can't even grasp everything he's doing, you know? So I just kind of, you know, kind of geeked my way into it and, um, you know, just built my business on it. And we have a project right now that uh, we're kind of developing for some guys is basically what happens is, this is a camera on a ribbon and that's a 1080, 1080p camera. And you can put different lenses on, you can do just a lot of different things. But what we do is we're ribboning it down into another accessory board that plugs in. And bottom line is what happens is um, the guy's helmet will have the transmitter and the uh, camera embedded. Oh my gosh, all built into all the built, helmet. All built into the helmet for um, drag racing. And I'm gonna miniaturize this, 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 and what this is, is a roll axis. And what it does is it uses a sensor. Uh, there's a couple sensors here, uh, here in the bottom. Okay. And it uses GPS. Our film comes from second unit. We, we do a lot of helicopters. We do a lot of action, fast and furious, mm -hmm. all that t style of shooting. And the guys are like, man, we need a camera that's robust that, um, has HDSDI out so we can monitor, see the frame, and see that it works, and something that's bulletproof. And um, and this is kind of what we came up with. So this sensor is very uh, bigger than Arri Alexa, and this is a prototype, but the color matrix and all the software that we've done, it's quite amazing. We built 10 of these as prototypes to test, and now we're ready to move forward with another test. And it's just another little piece of, you know, things that we're working on. Basically what we're doing here is testing these arrays 
this is called a local oscillator. And what it does, if yeah, this is an antenna element, so the RF comes in here, it sees it, this local oscillator sees that, takes it, changes it, changes it to another frequency, and then we run that signal right down um, off this cable and down to the receiver. We did a Delta commercial and they gave us a new Airbus. And the mandate was from our Cinejet that the director was gonna ride in the Airbus. So I, we set up this array, four antennas on one side of the airplane, four on the other and we transmitted from the jet into the Airbus. Mm -hmm. That way he could talk to them and he could see the pictures. And, uh, and then plus we had a ground station. Um, and we, the ground station, we probably had a picture maybe 50 miles, but um, that really wasn't the mandate. The mandate was to get it into the Airbus and uh, so that they could ride in there and direct however they wanted the shots. <coughs> Here's one of the uh, our main one of our main workhorse ships. This ship is really beautiful and um, flies freaking great. Fred North and at Heli Black. So we team up together and put all this stuff on, go to wherever it's gonna go. Well, thank you so much right. for this behind the scenes look at the uh, RF industry. It's incredible to hear all the um, stories and things of the jobs you guys have well, done. I appreciate you coming over and um, I'll keep you posted on more fun stuff as yeah, we get it working and I'll take you for a helicopter ride. You Perfect. Just, yes. Let's wait till <laughs> let's wait till it gets warmer. Okay, sounds good. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thank you so much. All right.